Hello, my name is Samiksha Malhotra and I will be presenting a project by Rios Contra Cancer on the development of a pilot IMRT telehealth curriculum for existing radiation oncology centers in low and middle income countries. Rios Contra Cancer is a nonprofit with the mission of creating sustainable access to affordable cancer treatment in limited resource settings globally. We partner with Project ECHO to provide education and training programs as a way to disseminate information regarding radiation treatment to physicians who practice in low-income areas. In this curriculum, we sought to create a training course of IMRT for medical physicists. IMRT is a targeted, organ-sparing radiation therapy technique that can reduce the global cancer burden in LMICs. However, many cancer centers in LMICs lack the physics and oncology training support required for IMRT treatment. Therefore, we evaluated the efficacy of a pilot IMRT continuing medical education curriculum presented to selected regional cancer centers via video conferencing. This was a seven-week curriculum in which we recruited cancer centers from South America, mainly from Bolivia, which currently has five radiation oncology centers, all of which have recently received linear accelerators and are starting to begin IMRT treatment. To do so, we recruited a global team of IMRT content experts from the Fox Chase Cancer Center, many of whom have worked previously in Bolivia with IMRT training. Then we recruited 16 participants from the seven regional cancer centers in South America, in Bolivia and Argentina, and we delivered a curriculum of nine sessions via live Zoom video conferences. A lead correspondent was assigned at each center, clinical capability statistics were collected, and attendance was taken. After the course completed, we delivered a final exam and qualitative data was collected to evaluate the efficacy. This is a list of the participating centers. And this is an overview of the curriculum. The first six sessions were presented by educators in the United States, and the seventh session was presented by the participating clinics on the state of radiotherapy in Bolivia. This is a screenshot of one of the Zoom sessions. And this is a screenshot of Fernando Matos sharing his presentation on the state of radiotherapy in Bolivia. Our clinical capability statistics showed one center reporting two linear accelerators, three reported one linear accelerator, and one used tomotherapy. Each center treated 300 to 600 patients per year using external beam radiation and had one to three medical physicists and two to four radiation oncologists per linear accelerator. Attendance of the sessions was a key outcome. Of the 16 participants, the overall average attendance was 49%, and each center had one or more attendees present for at least half the sessions. Of all the participants, nine also completed the final exam with an average score of 10.1 out of 26. The questions for this exam were developed by the educators and they were meant to be difficult. Overall, this project achieved many of the aims it set out to. The main goal was to develop a novel, low-cost telehealth model for IMRT training, and it did prove to be a promising vehicle for advancing cancer care in LMICs. A key indicator of the program's success was attendance, and the records showed active engagement, while post-course data showed a positive educational impact. However, despite this positive verbal feedback, knowledge gaps still exist, as evidenced by the low post-exam scores and some more work is needed. In future iterations, we would like to assess confidence levels pre and post curriculum, as well as on-site visits where an educator visits a participating clinic for one to two weeks. Overall, developing this new model has shown that connecting expert IMRT providers with their counterparts in LMICs is a feasible method to directly address the need for educational training worldwide. <laughs>